What's up everybody? It's your girl Chenaya and welcome or welcome back to my channel where it's all about faith, lifestyle, and whatever else the Lord says. It is 10.59, <laughs> almost 11 p.m. on January the 18th and it has been quite a long day for me. I've been up and down the road traveling but we thank God for his grace and mercy over the highways and the byways because it was definitely starting to get like a blizzard out there um but yes anyway i was determined to not miss day 18 of our january corporate fast i literally laid down and immediately it was like the holy spirit was like you didn't post today and i was like oh my gosh i gotta get up and do this so, I'm here with today's prayer point, and I know, yes, 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 it is the end of the day. However, um, if you stay up a little bit late or even wake up early on tomorrow, if you stay up late, you know, at least till midnight um, or a little bit past midnight, you can pray against this spirit that is going to be our prayer point um, during the hours of warfare. And that is between midnight and 3 a.m. And then even as you go throughout your day tomorrow, I'm going to post a little bit earlier tomorrow. Um, you know, you can lump the two together and yeah, you can go from there. However the Lord leads you to do it. Um, either way, I just wanted to get this word out. Uh, so today we're going to be talking about or really praying against the spirit of offense. So something I've noticed and something that the Lord has really highlighted to me is that if the devil can't get followers of Christ to stumble by anything else, it's going to be a, the spirit of offense. Um, and to be more specific, it's usually those of us who have not grown um, in our spiritual walks that are easily caught in the trap of the spirit of offense. Mark 4, 16 through 17 in the NLT version, it says the seed on the rocky soil represents those who hear the message and immediately receive it with joy. But since they don't have deep roots, they don't last long. They fall away as soon as they have problems or are persecuted for believing God's word. Now, this is just, it's very clear. When we don't have deep roots in Christ, it is easy for us to fall away, for us to become offended, um, and to turn away from God when we start to have problems or when we're persecuted for believing God's word. Even though scripture clearly tells us that we'll be persecuted for simply believing in Jesus. Um, and also that this life is not going to be without issues and problems. We live in a fallen world, so to expect anything else is not wise, <laughs> to say the least. So whether it be through a family member, friend, or something a believer or a non-believer does within the world to disrespect Christ... This spirit will get you when you least expect it if you are not on guard against it and you haven't made up in your mind that you will forgive quickly and not be offended, okay? You have to make it up in your mind that you are not only going to forgive quickly, but you're not going to be offended by people, the things they say, the things they do. Okay, and that's not to say it's just an overnight thing. It can be because the Lord works miracles, y'all. He can do anything. <laughs> but for some of us, it might be a little bit of a process, which is okay. So one thing I know we've all heard of before is, you know, you're going to respect me or you're not going to disrespect me. Um and just like I said before, we have to know and we cannot forget that Christ said we will be persecuted for simply being a follower of, of him and speaking his truth to the world. And you can look at 2 Timothy 3 and 12. 
To be persecuted means to be a subject of hostility or ill treatment, also known as disrespect. And it's important that we are aware of this and change our perspective and ask the Lord to grow us up spiritually so that we can let offenses roll off of us just as Jesus did. I also, really quick, just as I'm thinking about it, I want to point out, there is such a big difference, but the different <laughs> there's a big difference between someone bringing correction and you being offended and then um well it's not a big difference but i think it's important to note that some of us get offended by the correction that we receive and then of course there are situations where people do do things that are offensive and we get offended by it however it's kind of like um We need to forgive quickly in some of those situations, but also sometimes we need to take a good look at ourselves and just be for real, especially when we're receiving that correction. It's not always going to feel good, but we have to be able to take a good look at ourselves and say, you know what, what they're saying is correct and I should not be offended by this. Let me walk in this truth and ask the Lord to help me to change the areas I need to change. Okay? Now, as I was saying, (laughs) just as Jesus did, we need to let these offensive offenses roll off of us. So on the cross, Jesus asked our Heavenly Father to forgive them for they know not what they are doing as they were crucifying him, mocking him, and gambling for his clothing, Jesus forgave and asked the Father in heaven, our heavenly Father, to do so as well. So just as Jesus, we must forgive quickly, even in the midst of the offense and being done wrong. We must forgive quickly. The root of offense is unforgiveness. And if the devil can get you so offended that you won't forgive, then you got to know that when you ask our Heavenly Father for forgiveness, you will not receive it according to Mark 11 and 25, Matthew 6, 14 through 15. The devil's desire is to move you as far from Christ as he can so you don't go to heaven, but instead you go to hell, just like where he's going. He's destined to go there, but you have a choice. So choose to forgive quickly. Even if someone has gone done you wrong, even if a kajillion things have happened, forgive anyways and let the vengeance be the Lord's. Don't try to get your get back. Vengeance is the Lord's. And you can find that in Romans 12, 19 through 21. So our prayer today is... Lord, grow us up spiritually so that our roots in Christ Jesus run so deep that we are no longer offended by the things of this world. May the Lord give us the presence of mind to forgive and do so quickly. Let us be praying against the spirit of offense and let us be praying against unforgiveness that we would forgive quickly and not just forgive quickly, for our own sake, but forgive quickly so that our Heavenly Father will forgive us. And I guess that is for our own sake, to be honest. So let's pray against these things. Pray against the distractions that are causing you to steer away from what God has been trying to do in your life and through your life for someone else. Um, let us forgive quickly, y'all. Let us not be easily offended. God sees what you see. He hears what you hear. He knows more than you know. Um, And at the right time, our Father in heaven will deal with all things accordingly. So I pray that this word 
really spoke to your heart or just encouraged you to know that you can let things roll off you with ease. You don't have to worry about getting your get back or, you know, teaching someone a lesson. The Lord saw and he is going to act in the right time and do so accordingly. I pray this blessed you and I pray you have a great rest of your night. If you're staying up till midnight, go ahead and get you some warfare prayers in. Come against the spirit of offense fervently in prayer. Come against unforgiveness. Make up in your mind that you will forgive and that you will not be offended. I love you guys with the love of Christ. And remember, God loves you more. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye.